If you guys play Ultimate Team and you want to get some coins, make sure to check out my sponsor link in the description, MuttReserve.com. Use my code CK and I promise you, you'll be rich one day. But in the meantime, you'll get 15% off your order. Welcome back, you guys, your boy CK. It seems like every week we have a new contender for catch of the season. Now, I don't think Thielen's catch is as good as Hopkins, but it's up there. It's in the top three. And it's going to get him a spot in this week's edition of Stat Leaders of the Week for week number 11. He led all wide receivers in week 11 with 24.3 fantasy points. He had eight receptions for 123 yards and two touchdowns through the air versus the Cowboys, man. Well-deserved number one spot. This week's second in fantasy ended up being Demir Bird. First time I think he's been in stat leaders of the week during the season. He had six for 132 and a touchdown. Third highest output at wide receiver for fantasy was Robert Woods. He had 12 for 130 and a touchdown versus the Buccaneers. And then we have Keenan Allen, 16. Yes, he had 16 catches for 145 yards and a touchdown versus the Jets. They just could not stop him, okay? He was catching everything throwing his direction. He's now up to 93. I wanna see if he can get higher than like a 95 this season. I think he deserves it. He's never been that high of an overall. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to finally give him his just due. Devontae Adams, of course, he's been like a mainstay on these stat leaders of the week teams, man. He had seven for 106 and a touchdown. Even though the Packers end up losing to the Colts, he still did his thing. And then of course, Tyreek Hill, 11 for 102 and a touchdown, man. Another guy who's pretty much been a mainstay on these stat leaders of the week's teams. Nelson Aguilar was next up, man. A huge honor mention to him. I cannot wait to see him on this team. I hope it happens before the end of the season because he's always right there. Like he's literally next up. He was seventh, or at least tied for seventh with DJ Moore, Justin Jefferson, Cooper Cup. Those round out our top 10 wide receivers. For week number 11. Sticking with the pass catchers this time we have Travis Kelsey. He led all tight ends in fantasy week number 11. 8 for 127 and a touchdown. Behind him we have Mark Andrews from the Ravens. He had 15.6 fantasy points. 5 for 96 and a touchdown. Honorable mentions at the tight end position go to Darren Waller, Dallas Goddard, Richard Rodgers, and Hunter Henry. Those round out the top five tight ends for this week. Who else is not surprised to see this man here again? Dalvin Cook having an unbelievable season. He once again is going to be the starter for the stat leaders of the week team. In week number 11, he led all running backs in fantasy. He had 27 carries, 115 yards, and a touchdown on the ground. Also added five receptions for 45 yards through the air. And then we have Clyde Edwards Hilaire, a guy who I got as rookie premier because I knew he was just going to be so good. And thank God he's living up to that hype, man. 14 for 69 and two touchdowns on the ground. One catch for eight yards in the receiving game, man. He was second when it came to running backs in week number 11. Derrick Henry ended up third. Melvin Gordon was fourth. Zeke was fifth. J.K. Dobbins was sixth. Antonio Gibson from the football team was seventh. Carlos Hyde was eighth. Mike Davis was ninth. And then Frank Gore ended up tying Aaron Jones for 10th. Deshaun Watson is back on the stat leaders of the week team for the first time in a while. You'll love to see it, man. This one is just easy to root for. He led all quarterbacks in week 11 with 31.36 fantasy points. He went 28 of 37, 344 yards, two touchdowns with a 121.9 pass rating. Oh yeah, he also added six carries for 36 yards and a touchdown on the ground. Justin Herbert was second at the quarterback position. He went 37 of 49, 366, three touchdowns, no interceptions. I would have never thought a rookie would have this many appearances on the stat leaders of the week team, but Justin Herbert is, is different. Honorable mentions at the quarterback position go to Jared Goff who's third, Taysom Hill was fourth, Kirk Cousins was fifth, Tannehill was sixth, Rodgers was seventh, Derek Carr was eighth, Mahomes was ninth, and then Phillip Rivers was the 10th best in fantasy for quarterbacks this week. As we look at the offensive line, of course, they're gonna be the Vikings offensive line. And Dalvin Cook, once again, that's the bittersweet thing about, you know, taking him because his offensive line, I think, is there any A's? I'm pretty sure Brian O'Neill might be the highest overall on the offensive line. Him and, and Garrett Bradbury, both 78. The rest of them, either low 70s or, or in the 60s, man. Unfortunate. Our defense is really good. You know, the Browns, they led the way versus my Eagles. Miles Garrett didn't even play. He didn't have to. They still forced a lot of uh, pressure, you know, turnovers, pick sixes. 
They had the most fantasy points out of any defense in the NFL in week number 11. Honorable mention goes to the Carolina Panthers, the Steelers, the Saints, and the football team. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too optimistic about our chances to make it. So I'm gonna sim halfway through the season. Let's take a broader look at the lineup real quick, man. Offense and defense, as you see, offense is a little bit better. And by little, I mean a lot, 89 overall, as compared to an 80 overall, even with a lackluster offensive line, we still are probably gonna carry on offense. We'll see what happens though, how we're looking halfway through the season. Struggling as expected, bottom of the division. We got a game versus Watson's old team in week 10. We, we have to win that. All right, let's get it started. Oh yeah, who's that, a quarterback? It doesn't matter. We're gonna get pressure no matter what. Oh, it's Baker. Yeah, that's the one thing about doing these experiments and these squad builders. You usually have to just swap quarterbacks. So you can assume that, uh, you know, the team we're using, that quarterback has swapped teams with the former starter, which is why most of the time I like using the team from the quarterback, except in stat leaders of the week when we use an entire defense of one team. So anyways, okay. Nice, nice way to, you know, diagnose the blitz, but it's going to be fourth down. It's going to be first. Okay, that <laughs> that line back here confused me. I thought for sure that was the first down marker for whatever reason, man. All right, my head's back in the game. Let's see what happens here. Nothing. Oh, okay. Apparently they challenged for you. I don't know how that works, but you know what? It is what it is. It worked out for us. Third and one. Nice defense. Let's go. Who the hell is Davis? What are we doing here? What the fuck? Bro, I'm very confused. We don't have a Davis on offense. That must be one of our linebackers. I don't know what's going on. I, I have no idea. This is just very scuffed. Extremely scuffed right now. We'll make up for that interception. An MOB. What is going on? Why is he the backup? <laughs> This game is terrible. Anywho, let's let's get the ball back. You know what they've been doing all game, just throwing it short. I'm gonna try to lurk something. I'm gonna try to lurk something. Yes, throw it to me. Or getting in, okay, that's, that works. There it is, there it is, beautiful. That, I, don't, I don't understand this call right here. Okay, that, that worked out for them. That, 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 that definitely worked out. All right, I just gotta take what they give me. I got, oh my Dalvin. Sheesh, what a move. Come on, we got a minute and 20 left. Why stop passing the ball when it's working as well? Edwards Lair out the backfield. Actually, X is wide open, man. That's Travis Kelsey. That's what he does. We end up losing, and our season's not looking too hot. We'll, we'll see how it ends up going. And we made the playoffs. Would you look at that, man? Anything's possible. Watson with 27 and 12. 4,000 yards. That's a great season. Dalvin Cook with 1,200 yards. 10 touchdowns. That was a layer with seven. Not bad at all from our running backs. Look at Devontae with 1,000 yards a season. Seven touchdowns. Tyreek with six. Kelsey with five. Joseph led the way in tackling. Tax for loss. We had three guys in double digits. Sacks. It looks like we had a ton of them. Of course, Miles Garrett led the way. He's unbelievable, man. I think he's up to a 98 right now in, in, uh, in Madden. So I think it's well-deserved. He's one of the best at his position. And yeah, he could join the 99 club very soon. He keep, as soon as he comes back, he keep playing the way he was. It's looking good for him. Look at this. A forced fumble. He's doing it all. We lost in the wild card. Around 7 to 20. That is just a little bit unfortunate, man. We lose to Deshaun Watson's old team. Baker, oh my, yo, Deshaun had three interceptions, no touchdowns, just an atrocious game for him. I don't know what happened. I cannot explain what happened. He had a great receiving core. The offensive line, though, I, like when I was playing with them, <laughs> it, it felt like I had no time in the pocket. So going up against J.J. Watt, I kind of understand. I, I'm guessing J.J. Watt had a great game against us in this playoff game man look at this yeah he killed it unfortunately man that is where our season ended man hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video it's gonna happen i promise you maybe i should stop promising because i don't know at this point if it's gonna happen but i hope it does man we've gotten to the super bowl we've lost but uh, at least we're still making the playoffs man hopefully you can bounce back next week if you're ready for that be sure to like button subscribe for new and i'll see you on the next one